The 24 Hours of Le Mans is also the highlight of the 2015 FIA World Endurance Championship season. Over 250,000 fans are expected to arrive at Le Mans this weekend and even the French president Francois Hollande does not want to miss this amazing event and visited the Audi crew in the pit box. Each of the three Audi e-tron Quattros will start near the front of the grid. Two of the hybrid race cars start the classic endurance race in the second and third row. The eight leads the Audi pack in fourth position. Directly behind the number eight is last year's winner, Andre Lotterer, Marcel Fesler and Benoit Trelluet once again going for the win. The third e-tron Quattro completes the Audis in sixth position, with René Rast, Marco Bonanomi and Philippe Albuquerque behind the wheel. Philippe is celebrating his 30th birthday today. The main competition for Audi this year is undoubtedly Porsche. The eight car was the fastest in the warm-up this morning, just before the start of the race. The three Porsches were a little faster in qualifying and secured the first to third starting positions. But it's well known that speed isn't everything at Le Mans. Consistency and reliability will be decisive factors. As in every year recently, the race starts at three o'clock local time. Shortly after the start of the race, there's a position change between the black and red Porsches. Audi starts off the race well. Both the seven and the eight cars are able to gain a position by passing the third Porsche. Audi's on the offensive. Andre Lotterer has the fastest lap time at the start of the race. At the halfway mark of the Le Mans 24 hours, all three Audi R18 e-tron Quattros are positioned in the top five, lapping quickly, reliably and consistently. Marco Bonanomi in the number nine was in second position after 12 hours, a minute behind the leading 19 Porsche. Andre Lotterer in the seven followed three and a half seconds behind in third position. Like Duval in the number eight Audi completed the Audi Trio in fifth place. During the 13th hour, the three Audi R18 e-tron Quattros held second for the seven car, third for the nine, and fifth for the eight. During a round of full service pit stops, there was a scheduled shift among the Audi drivers. Benoit Trelluet took over the number seven from Andre Lotterer. Felipe Albuquerque replaced Marco Bonanomi in the nine, and Lucas de Grassi got into the number eight after Lloyd Duval. Audi Sport enjoyed a quiet 14th hour. The only incident, slight contact between Philippe Albuquerque in the 9 and the GTE Ferrari. After checking the front end at the next routine pit stop, the all clear was given and nose change was not necessary. The gap between the leading portion of a 19 and the second place Audi number 7 was 55 seconds after 14 hours. 45 seconds further behind in third place was Audi number 9. As dawn approached, Audi number 7 was at the head of the field. Benoit Trelluet took the lead when the Porsche number 19, which had been leading, was a little longer during the pit stop after being shuffled around into position. The Frenchman extended his lead from two to four seconds. At six o'clock in the morning, R18 number seven was 56 seconds behind in second place. Philippe Albuquerque in the number nine followed about a minute behind and still in fifth place, Lucas de Grassi in R18 number eight. Audi R18 number seven took its turn at the head of the field between six and seven o'clock in the morning. Benoit Trelluet completed a fifth stint and was at the wheel for almost three hours before handing over the car to Marcel Fesler. As a result, the R18 dropped back to second place. Then part of an engine cover came adrift on the best place R18, which forced Fesler to make an unscheduled pit stop on lap 261 to change the rear bodywork. That dropped them down to fourth place. René Rast with Audi number 9 moved up to second place. Marcel Fesler resumed the race in fifth position after a 6 minutes and 56 second long repair. The gap between Rast and the leading portion number 19 of Nico Hülkenberg remained constant at a little over two minutes. A refueling stop during a safety car phase meant Rast deficit grew to a full lap. Audi number 7 was two laps down in fourth place at 8 o'clock. Holly Jarvis in the R18 number 8 in position 5. Due to intermittent hybrid power cutouts, René Rast was unable to defend his second place following a safety car period. The number 9 dropped down to third position and fell a full lap behind the leading Porsche number 19. So after three quarters of the race distance, Audi held third, fourth, and fifth positions. 
During a pit stop of the number 17 Porsche, Rene Rast was able to temporarily improve to second place, but then had to pit for refueling him himself, which dropped him back to third. Hour 20 at Le Mans and time for the next driver changes. Marco Bonanomi took over the driving duties from the third place number nine from René Rast. Andre Lotterer replaced Marcel Fessler in car number seven. And Loic Duval took over from Oli Jarvis in car number eight. A drive-through penalty was assessed for the number seven for violation of the regulations in a slow zone. Andre Lotterer managed to set a new track record in hour 21, the Audi driver improving the previous best mark to a 3 minutes 17.475 seconds. However, Lotterer had a two-lap deficit to the front runners. The two other Audis made unscheduled pit stops too. On the number 8 R18, the engine cover was exchanged, the time loss a little more than two minutes. The number 9, that had been in third position, underwent a lengthier repair at the front suspension area. Now with a seven-lap deficit, Felipe Albuquerque resumed the race in seventh position. Audi 7 and 8 maintained positions 3 and 4. Audi was able to maintain high speeds during the final phase of the race. Luca de Grassi once again engaged in a thrilling duel with the red Porsche and ultimately passed him fast but unfortunate the story of the day for Audi. The 19 and 17 Porsches came in first and second, however Audi continued its string of podium results by crossing the finishing line third with the number 7 Audi R18 e-tron quattro. Andrea Lotterer, Marcel Fesler and Ben Trelluet were able to defend the WEC lead for Audi. The number 8 Audi finished fourth, whilst the third Audi with the number 9 on it crossed the finish line in seventh position.